Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I just woke up and I wanted to just do uh, a day, a bad day in the life of a diabetic. And it's possible my day only starts off this way and this is just a very short video, but um, it's a bad day. So yesterday was a very emotional day for me um, and my boyfriend together. Um, it was a, very much a roller coaster, and at night I got together with a couple of my girlfriends, and we had some wine and pizza, which I did bolus for. But as you know, it's very hard to get it exactly right. Um, so I went to bed with a blood sugar of 190, which is pretty high for me, especially now. My average blood sugar usually runs around 100. Um, so I bolused, I corrected it before I went to bed. And I went to bed. Um, my pump went off in the middle of the night to enter my blood sugar. And subconsciously in my sleep, I just turned it off. And then my sensor disconnected. So for about five hours while I was sleeping, my sensor was completely off. Um, so when that happens, my pump gets thrown out of auto mode. And then at that point, it's set manually to give me 0.7 units every hour. So my blood sugar does not get tested. My pump doesn't adjust the insulin depending to what I need. It just gives me 0.7 units set. And that was set by my doctor um, when I did a fast through the night. To, to what, Once we were in auto mode, we knew that it would you know, give me insulin as needed. But out of auto mode, it gives me 0.7 units. So that's what it started doing, which was not enough because my blood sugar kept going up. I'm at 393, which is just absolutely horrendous. I feel horrible. I feel absolutely horrible. Um, this is what my pump bolus me, but I'm gonna bolus probably another full unit because it's going up. As you can see, um, it's all the way up there. It's barely even tracking. As you can see, um, that's when it was going down here. So I was up here at night and then it just disconnected. Um, yeah, see, that was last night. Yesterday was yesterday was just a horrible day, as you can see. I just wanted to record that because I sometimes find, not always, but sometimes find that people record their best days. I know my blood sugar has been 70 all day, and, you know, I feel great. And, no, I feel like garbage. I'm irritated. <laughs> I'm upset. I'm stressed and um, I can't really control <laughs> this right now um, but I know that I need to calm down um, I need to let my insulin do its job I'm gonna take a shower I'm gonna make some tea I'm gonna go to work um, as much as I don't want to I want to just lay in bed I don't want to do anything um, but I need to get my blood sugar down I need to get my blood flowing so yeah this is a bad morning this is a bad day. Um, and this feeling is so hard to explain to people who don't have diabetes. Honestly, to not like separate us because as much as we want to feel normal, we're not. Um, and it's so hard to explain to people who don't have it what you feel inside when your blood sugar is at 400. Um, it's just a horrible feeling. And I could be feeling it differently than another diabetic, you know what I mean? But I just, like, want to throw something. I want to break <laughs> I just don't feel okay. Um, but, like I said, I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to have a lot, of, a lot of water. I feel like that helps, like, I don't know, somehow flush out my, my blood, which I, I know it's probably not. I don't know. But I feel like drinking a lot of water helps it go down. So, I'm going to do that. And I will catch up with you guys right before I leave for work. So. Alright, guys. So, I'm out of the shower. And actually, if you can see, my pump just ran out of insulin. You can see it's completely empty and right up there. And I am dropping a little bit. So down to 366. It was all the way up to 494, or uh, 394, sorry. Um, so, sorry, my eyes are so blurry right now. Um, so I actually do need to do a set change, which I'm okay with, because it's gonna be just the new site, new insulin, and that makes me feel better. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now.
guys, so it's been a little under two hours, and now my blood sugar is 152 with two arrows down, which means um, I'm crashing. I just don't even know. <laughs> um, and I have too much insulin to compensate, so I'm going to keep crashing. So now I need to take some glucose tablets to avoid a low, because usually at 152, I only need like 0.1 units to get me down to like 100. Um, and I'm at 1.4, which is going to make me crash really bad. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of these. Um, these are just glucose tablets from CVS. Um, and then I'm going to take a couple. I have some in my purse, too, just in case when I'm driving, I go low. So, yeah, still feeling like shit because when you're this high and then you crash, you also don't feel well. So it's just um, an interesting day, but hopefully I can level out. We are currently at 127. I plummeted down to about 89. Um, and then I ate a banana and now I'm on my way back up. So I feel a little better, but I just feel so exhausted um, from a drop like that. But hopefully the rest of the day goes better. Um, I have no appetite, not hungry. I made some matcha tea. So I didn't get coffee, I got my matcha. I feel like I might go up, cause you know how like when you're really low and you're dropping, you overeat. So I feel like I may have done that, but so far um, there's no arrows going up. So I think I'm pretty stable at the moment. Hey guys, so we haven't talked all day because work was crazy busy. Uh, I didn't even take a break, so I haven't eaten today, which I had a really, like I said, emotional day yesterday and stress and anxiety make me not want to eat, which probably isn't good, but I, whatever let's call it fasting um but right now my sugar is at 235 which i don't even know where that came from it's just been such a horrible up and down day like i got to work my blood sugar went up to like 130 then i was stable at 130 then i dropped to like 90 then i went back up and then down and now i'm at 235 for no reason so it's just really frustrating but i'm headed home like i said i'm finished with work i'm gonna stop on my way home and get something to eat um, and then, you know, I'm going to bolus for this. I'm going to see what my pump is going to give me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and correct this. So we are looking at 235. It's going to give me 0.9 units. I'm not going to calibrate. Well guys, this is where we're at. So, this is the last 12 hours. I am physically, emotionally drained. Guys, my blood sugar is literally not dropping. I keep bolusing in like a circle and it keeps going down and I keep bolusing. Not my blood sugar, but my Insulin is going down, and look, it's just completely standing in place. Oh my god, I'm so frustrated. I am. Um, I'm dealing with some other stuff that's more personal, but this is not helping that. Um, and I'm exhausted emotionally, physically, mentally, I'm drained. Like, I would have liked this to have been a good blood sugar day, but it's not. So I did bolus, um, it's about 10.50 at night. So I did bolus. <clears throat> so I'm gonna see where it is before I go to bed because I don't wanna go to bed with it this high because I'll just have my alarms waking me up every 20 minutes in the middle of the night. So, yeah, I'm not gonna eat anything. I'm just gonna drink water, add some tea. Hope that um, it drops within the hour, so. All right, guys, just to finish up the vlog, it's the next morning, and guess what? I woke up to an auto mode exit um, alert. Smart card off. Calibration required, so let's see. My pump's been off for about six hours. <sighs> Not my pump, my CGM. So I need to enter blood sugar, calibrate, 
Let's see where I was at before I fell asleep. Or in the, before this thing shut off. So I was finally back down to normal. So hopefully I'm still level. I'm hoping. Okay, not terrible. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that to my pump. It will actually have me probably bolus a little bit to correct that. Just gonna let it calibrate for now. So honestly guys, um, the whole point of this little blog was just to show that um, things are not perfect. Life is not perfect. You are not perfect. Um, whether you are diabetic or not, shit happens. You feel like shit. Um, Merle just jumped in the bed and almost fell and died. Um, and I guess this is coming from a deeper place than just diabetes because of the weekend I've had. But, you know, it's okay to feel. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be sad. Um, you know, you can't decide what feelings to, to numb and what feelings to block out. Because if you block out pain, you're pretty much blocking out every emotion. You can't just selectively block out an emotion. So if you block out pain or you decide to not feel something, you're also not feeling joy. You're not feeling happiness. You're not feeling relief. Um, so just remember that everything makes you stronger. Um, even if it makes you want to die in the moment. But I hope everybody has a good day. Um, it is Sunday, so I hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, and I'm going to finish the blog here, and the next one will be something happier, or maybe not. <laughs> but I do want to put up some more recipes. Um, so thank you guys for watching and being here and always commenting and sending love. Um, like I said, I love talking to you guys. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.